tell us this current situation, what, what you've been told about what's going on? Uh, just basically that there'll be a resolution at some stage today. Uh, either way, whether the manager will be here or, or won't, uh, hopefully by the close of play today we'll have a decision on that. Uh, up until such time as it's just business as usual for us uh, along the corridor obviously in terms of trying our best to prepare for a game tomorrow. Can it be business as usual when you do have a game tomorrow and the manager's not taking training and it's still unclear whether he'll be in charge for the game? Uh, I think it has to be. I think uh, the nature of the beast is that it's, uh, we have to prepare as best we can for the game. There's no getting away from that. There's a game to play. Uh, we need to make sure the players are right uh, and hopefully they, they are that. I mean, they seem relatively relaxed about the whole situation. I think it's the uh, nature of football, the way it works, unfortunately. It's not an ideal situation, but it's a situation I'm sure the players will just get on with. If Derek's to go, will you be in charge for the game against Dundee? Uh, again, I'm not sure. Uh, Marcel and Barry have been dealing with training the last couple of days, so I'd be surprised if anybody was to come in between uh, tonight and tomorrow to take the game. So the likelihood is that it will be myself and Barry. I'll just continue to take care of team matters until such time we're asked different. Have you spoken to Derek? Uh, yes, yeah, I, I've been in touch with him. He's, he's obviously uh, asked how training's been, asked how players are. So we're, we've been in touch with him purely just regards training and obviously the game tomorrow. Did he say anything else about going forward or, or what he's thinking as his mindset? No, no, there was nothing spoke about uh, his situation. It's none of my business in, in all honesty. So Derek will make his decision in time and, and we'll adhere to whatever that decision is. Has he had any other input into training apart from phoning you for a catch-up? No, no, not really. He's, he's just uh, asked us initially to take it on where are we? Tuesday night. Uh, we've done that. Uh, we've relayed back that the boys have been fine in terms of their training so uh, other than that that's been it really we've just been given a uh, blank canvas to work with in terms of their work What's your gut instinct on and what will happen? Uh, I, I honestly don't know I've um, gut instinct uh, I can't really answer I, I'm not sure it's, it's taken its time might, might Yeah of course it. of course uh, we've formed a decent working relationship as a staff so we're all hopeful that both him and Tony stay at the club uh, but again, whether that happens, it's, it's out with our control and there's nothing we can do with that. Are you preparing as if you'll be in the dugout tomorrow night? I think we have to. I, th I think we have to, uh, as much as we can. Obviously, in terms of if it doesn't happen, then, then the manager's obviously here to, to sort things out and, and make sure the uh, team's prepared. But we've got to be in place to, to make sure that we're doing that. Uh, so as it stands, we're, we're preparing for a game tomorrow. Uh, myself, Barry, Gordon and, and Scott Anderson, we're all doing that, so uh, just basically to be on the safe side. How difficult a situation does it put you in being sort of parachuted into this uh, situation which from the outside seems quite chaotic with a game tomorrow night? Not overly. I mean, it's fortunate that I've, I've prepared for plenty of games in my time. Uh, granted, uh, with the greatest of respect, a, a lower level. I'm still involved at 20s level. So it's just, like I say, the club have asked to do this. And until such time as I'm asked different, I'll just continue to do it to the, the best of my ability. How do you feel the whole situation surrounding the manager's position has been handled? It's not been ideal. I think the time scale has been the biggest part of it, and now obviously the uncertainty over the last couple of days. It's not been an ideal situation, but it's it's just one that, that we all have to deal with, and it's uh, one that we are dealing with. I mean, even the players today, they're, they're quite upbeat throughout the uncertainty, so we just continue to work as best we can. How uncertainly Paul has all the uncertainty been? I mean, he's been rumbling on this for several weeks now. Not, not overly. Uh, I, I think it's difficult to say it, it hasn't affected the, the club. I think because even subconsciously the people will say it's not, but I do think there is uh, slight issues hanging over it with the, with the time scale and things. So it, it's not been ideal. Uh, and I, I think we'd be lying to say that it's, it's plain sailing. I think that is more a subconscious thing that we just want uh, a bit of clarity in the whole situation. And um, once we get that clarity, we, we just move on, which, whichever way it is, whether the gaffer stays at the club or whether he moves on, someone else will come in and, and take the club forward, hopefully. When were you and Barry asked to take training? And have you spoken to the chairman at all? 
Uh, we were asked on Tuesday night, I spoke to the manager late on, uh, I've been in touch with the chairman, Duncan Fraser, Stephen Gunn obviously, we're in constant contact with what's happening, uh, albeit nothing, so it's just, uh, we were asked on Tuesday and, and since then there's been no change to the situation. How important has it affected the players? I mean, we keep hearing people saying, well, players can off from this kind of thing, and I guess in the, in the short term, possibly, the fact this has dragged on for six weeks now. Yeah. I give it a, a risk of repeating myself, I, I, don't, I don't think they like to think it won't affect them, but I do think there is a, a subconscious side that, that it must, it, it's not an ideal situation, so as much as they don't want it to affect them, I'm sure to a certain degree it will. Is it noticeable? Like, I mean no, no, not overly, not overly, but I'm sure, I'm sure, I mean we're all here speculating what, what if, uh, what may happen, and they'll be the exact same. Uh, we can't uh, deny that they're in the same situation, there's no clarity for them, so uh, it's just the uncertainty of it all, and it must affect them as much as they don't want it to, as much as we don't want it to, I'm sure it will do. What would you say, Barry, and the rest of the team, would you say something? Well, yeah, I, there's no reason why we shouldn't be. Obviously, if the manager goes, a new manager will come in, he'll have his own ideas, and then that's up to him. But touch wood, we'll, we'll stay in a job for as, as long as they're willing to allow us to stay in that job. Paul, you said that it wasn't ideal and it's dragged on a bit. Can, is there anyone you can apportion blame to that, or is that just football? I, I don't think so. I, I think it's just football. Uh, Ideally, we would have liked it sorted straight away. Ideally, the Rangers fans would have liked it dealt with a lot sooner, I'm sure. Uh, now our fans, I'm sure, want a bit uh, clarity of the whole situation. So it's just one of these situations that, yes, it's not ideal, but it's happening and we just have to deal with it. Would you feel let down if Derek goes, given what he's built here and the, the camaraderie he has with everyone? No, I won't feel let down. I think people move on in any walk of life, whether it be in the building trade, whether it be in the football. Uh, everybody moves on, they show ambition to better themselves, uh, and if that's what the manager wants to do, then, then we'll have to take it on the chin and, and move on. How tough a game will it be against Dundee, given they're on a decent run of form just now? It's going to be difficult. It's, it's, uh, they're obviously doing well, they're scoring goals, they're positive in, in their play at, at Ross County last week, Rangers a week before that, a really good result. So. Uh, we know it'll be tough, but we just have to prepare as best we can and, and look to win a game of football. Given what happened against Rangers, are you looking for a reaction? Yeah, of course. I, I think the whole situation needs a reaction now, and, and I'm sure the players will be desperate to do that. They'll be desperate to put all the, the, the so-called side show to one side and, and put on a performance. And uh, Like I say, they've been upbeat the last couple of days, so hopefully they'll take that into uh, match day tomorrow. Any changes planned? Uh, no, no, I've no thought too far ahead in all honesty in terms of the team, just uh, don't want to be too presumptuous, but there'll be nothing major in terms of me coming in and doing anything rash or silly, it'll be business as usual really. Your easiest question, any team uses Greg Tanzi will be out, uh, Stevie May and Gary Mackay Stephen are probably 60-40 against at the minute. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Paul. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thank you.